What's up, y'all? It's me, CC, and I'm back with another video. Subscriber or not, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Today, I'm going to be giving all my beginner nail techs advice. If you are a beginner nail tech, this is the video for you. I'm going to be talking about the things you need to learn, business. I'm going to be talking about your clientele. I'm going to be talking about the mindset you have to have, the supplies you need. I'm going to be talking about all that. So you're definitely in for some good tips in this video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on it. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Let's go ahead and get into it. First things first, you can't be a nail tech and not know how to do nails, okay? So people ask me all the time, how did you learn how to do nails? Who taught you how to do nails? And this is my answer every single time. YouTube. YouTube taught me how to do nails. There are two YouTubers in specific who I feel like helped me on my journey on learning how to do nails when I was first starting. And their names are Natalie Carmona, I hope I'm pronouncing her last name right, and Sydney Alexis. So when I was watching Natalie's videos, I promise you she is so, so informative. I'm pretty sure she has a video on anything you're struggling with, whether it's your shaping, whether it's your powder to monomer ratio, whatever the case may be. Like she probably has a video for building an apex application. So how I learned how to do nails was by researching, 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 researching. There are plenty of nail techs who make watch me work videos and they're really just showing you what they do, their technique and all that stuff. Now, say you aren't the type of person who can just watch a video and feel like they know how to do it or, you know, aren't confident in learning that way. You most likely can go on a social media and find a nail tech in your area that are offering one-on-one -on -one classes. Now, they might range from around $300 to $600, but if you're a hands-on type of person and you feel like you need someone to, you know, guide you as you're doing it, then that probably would be a better option for you. So if you want to do it, you're going to have to put in the work, you're going to have to practice, 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 practice. And what I'm about to tell you right now is a tip that I don't want you to forget. When you click off of this video, I need you to remember this. Do not give up. Do not, under any circumstances, give up. You might feel like you don't have enough clientele. Don't give up, though. You might feel like, oh, I can't get my shape down. I can't get this coffee. Now, don't give up, though, because one thing that you're setting in stone when you give up is that you'll never reach your end goal. Don't let nobody sit here and talk down on your nail business or how you do nails, because I promise you, nine times out of ten, you put them in a the nail seat and get them supplies to do it, they're not going to know what they do doing. They still going to look a hot mess. Or CC told you not give up because you can do it. Because I definitely remember a time where I was like, maybe this just ain't for me. I've been practicing my application alone for two weeks and I still can't get it down. I know. I don't care what type of excuse you trying to make for yourself you can do it can't is not in our vocabulary give up is not in our vocabulary so if you really want to do it you can do it i promise you okay so you know you're gonna need top coat you're gonna need an led light you're gonna need powders you're gonna need files you're gonna need glue you're gonna need tips you're gonna need all that stuff but it's i want to say i want to say four things in specific that could literally change your whole nail game. But first, first we're gonna talk about a drill. And y'all know it was only right for me to sit in my nail area. Y'all can't see my table and all this other stuff, but y'all can kind of see my utility cart <laughs> in the back. But this is a Melody Susie portable drill. The first drill I bought and the only drill I've had to buy because this has never gone out on me. It's literally just a drill and a cord. I don't have this big old box. It still runs how it's supposed to. It came with the drill bits. I think all drills come with the drill bits to go with them. But um, this is a medium barrel, but you know, it came with the sanding bands and you know, the cuticle drill bit. And I have to recommend it to you because it has never let me down. Next thing I wanna talk about is monomer. So I remember this one time where I actually had a girl that I was practicing on and she was gonna get her nails done and I ran out of monomer. My friend at the time was doing nails as well, and she dropped off her monomer. She said I could use it, whatever, until mine comes in the mail. I used it, and when I tell you, it was so bad. Like, I was so used to using this monomer. When I used her monomer, I was like, how does she work with this? Because it was drying so quickly. I mean, I'm not even gonna keep talking, because I don't even know where she got it from. I don't know where she ordered it from. I don't, I don't own it on my own. I was very much so grateful for the one I was using, and I've literally been using this one since I started as well. It's really good monomer. This is a Glamming Glitz EMA monomer. Um, it's a 16 ounce. Um, you don't have to buy ones this big, but I'm doing nails constantly, so I need one. Next is your brushes. One thing you guys have to know is that you need a 100% Kalinsky brush. All 100% Kalinsky brushes aren't actually 100% Kalinsky. 
I use Pana, Pana, I don't really know how to say it, but these are around 20 to 28 dollars. But say you're just practicing, you don't want to spend that much money, just know you need to be cleaning your brush. Wipe, 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 wipe. So I'm putting down the bead, I'm doing whatever. You see, see that? That's me wiping, why? Because if not, your acrylic will dry up in the brush and then your application on the next nail will most likely be booty. So having good files, of course, you don't want really no files. Files never really cost that much money, but you know, you're gonna need a lot of them because when you start doing nails, other people, you're gonna need to throw them out and stuff like that. So 100, 180. Also wanna say everything that I do have is from Amazon. If y'all wanna see like a, I guess you could say nail tech collection of everything I've gotten and where I got it from, make sure y'all put that in the comments. Let's get into the money. It's really hard to start up a business when you don't have support. It's really hard to start up a business when you don't have the funds necessarily, but I promise you, you can do it. Now me personally, my family didn't help me. My friends didn't help me. Like no one helped me. Everything that I have right to this day, I've used my own money. I couldn't start up a business until I got a job because that was my only way of income. When I got a job, Amazon literally got all of my money. So what I recommend is going on Amazon or whatever and putting everything you feel like you need in your cart. Once you see the total, that's what you should be saving up for. And you don't necessarily have to buy everything at once. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't have this nail table to about nine, 10 months into me doing nails. Like, so definitely when it comes to the equipment, I really feel like it's important to save up your money. I mean, or if you just got it like that, then you know, go, go buy everything you need today. Go the business part of it. Depending on the state you live, it's gonna be different, but every state to legally have a business, um, you're gonna need qualifications. You're gonna need a business license. You're probably gonna need a nail technician certification. If it's something you're just doing as a hobby or as like a side hustle or something and you don't wanna, you know, go to school for it, then that's one thing. But if you feel like this is something you're gonna be doing, like you're gonna be taking seriously and this is gonna be your job, you're gonna need your license. You don't wanna see her and feds coming after you because you don't have a license. You know what I'm saying? So definitely get that stuff out the way as soon as you get the funds and chance. Let's get on to this clientele. I feel like this is something a lot of people might struggle with. I feel like this is something that I have struggled with at one point in time. So there's a lot of things that you can do to build your clientele. The biggest tip I have is promote it, post it, marketing. You have to make sure people know that you do nails. You post it on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, um, all I post is nails on my Snapchat. Well, every once in a blue moon, I'll post myself or like whatever I'm doing. But like most of the time, only thing I'm posting is nails. That's all I post. Oh, she can do this. Oh, she can do that. She can do this. She can do that. Make sure people know what you can do. Make sure you're putting your talents out there. You can't just have a talent and not show nobody that you can do it. You, that's how you're going to get clientele. If I was never posted, nobody would ever know to come to me. I have a nail Instagram. I'm posting it on my Facebook, my Snapchat. I'm posting it all the time. You can post every single set. You're trying to build your clientele. The main thing that you need to do is make sure people know that you do nail things. You're looking for people to book with you. So on every video I have, I also have a link to my website. Now, a website is something that you can get done for free. You can do it for free. Me, personally, I use square up um at first i was just taking appointments by text because i was still practicing um i also wasn't charging that much so you know having a whole website audit stuff like i don't know i just didn't feel like it was necessary but once you get certain type of clientele you're not gonna really have time to just reply to everybody and then wait on them to reply to you back and tell them how much it is like you know what i'm saying with the website, you're gonna be able to list all your services you provide, how much it costs. They're gonna be able to put in their information. So if you do need to text them, that you can text them. You're gonna be able to put in what times you're available, what days you're available, what days you're not available. They're gonna book, you're gonna be able to confirm it. Um, you're gonna have a custom URL. If you want a more in-depth video on how I made my website and how I do my booking and appointments, make sure you let me know. Also, when it comes to your money, babe, charge them a deposit because it's been so many times where you get a client they're they're saying they're gonna come there'll be a no call no show they'll cancel on you now you're at a loss for money a loss for time and somebody else could have came and got their nails like at least you have some type of compensation for your time and when it comes to how much you're charging for your appointments you choose that by yourself it was a point in time where i feel like i could have done better and people are like oh you're only charging Forty dollars for this set, like yeah, because that's how much I feel like I'm worth. I feel like I could do so much better. Now, of course, I raise my prices and stuff. My quality and work shows for me. You pick your prices of what you're comfortable with. Okay, I kind of got off track a little bit. Back to the clientele thing, like an Instagram where somebody can just find your website easily, click on it. That's gonna bring a lot of clients 
to you because when like i said when somebody is just waiting on you to text a bag and everything and then you're waiting on them to text back they might just up and go to a nail shop or they might go to another nail tech so building your clientele make sure you're being professional about it make sure everything is clear to all clients that come to you make sure everything is clear make sure your prices are clear make sure your availability is clear make sure everything is clear along with building your clientele when you have instagram you're posting stuff your pictures are so important pictures are very 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 important i don't even hear a lot of people talking about this as much as they should but when you're taking pictures or videos make sure you have like i got this little device off of amazon this is my light when i'm doing nails um you just turn it on it moves so it has different light settings has timers on it and all that i also have this mat it's like a little fur mat i feel like it's really really important to have a background that's either um really plain or like a simple type of pattern some people have like the little grass on the plants or whatever like just something to where we can vividly see the details in the nails you have a ring light make sure your pictures are good um me personally i'm more of a video type person make sure your quality of pictures is good when something is appealing to a person's eye they're most likely gonna come back click on your account again watch your videos again go through your pictures again follow you all that stuff because they see that it looks good. also be professional if you're gonna have a business you have to be professional don't sit here and get your attitude with somebody or go posting about how somebody you know was really rude or you know go post somebody's messages because now they see how you do things they see oh she's not really professional oh she might go off on me if i say i don't like this or oh at the end of the day there are a million and one people in this world but having loyal clients people who will continue to come back to you because they know you're a good person and you can do some nails that's what's important so whenever they come in this is also an important tip whenever they come in make them feel comfortable you know i have music going i'm trying to make sure it's not too cold or too hot in my area i light a candle so it makes sure it smells good i offer them water just really make sure your clients feel comfortable some people really don't like talking that much some people will literally tell you their life story on things that are going on and y'all sit here and chit chat about that so whatever the case may be make sure you're open to talk to your clients make sure they know that you're open to talk to them have conversation with them but also read their body language fill out your client make sure they feel comfortable now this is also a big tip and it kind of goes back into not giving up now i live in a city and this is a hating ass city <laughs> i'm gonna say it just like that a lot of people in my city just they know you're good at what you do but because they friend don't like you or because this person don't like you they're not gonna come to you that's how it is in my city but listen to me it's called perseverance your work is gonna speak for itself don't worry about how many people know you do nails and don't come to you don't, my loyalist is that word loyalist my loyalist clients are in their 20s 30s coming to me that my loyalist clients don't even go to my school it's really really important to have confidence in your work guess what when i go to this place it's constantly a person who did your nails oh i did my own nails and then i have clients they're out or whatever somebody asked who did their nails oh they're gonna tell them you did their nails don't worry about it. if your people who are supposed to support you aren't supporting you or the people who you go to school with aren't supporting you or the people you work with aren't supporting you as long as you're doing your part you have good service you're a good respectful person you have good work ethic it's gonna start showing all that stuff will pay off one day and it still might not be the people who are closest to you but you're gonna start getting those clients and a lot of the times when they see you're doing really really good then they're gonna start coming to you and that's how it is and another really good tip is to have some type of i guess you could say what is it incentives or have like deals or something like that bring a friend type of incentive or you know have discounts for returning clients have you know this thing and this thing going on so you get more people to come because when you're beginning the thing you want to focus on is getting people to come to you but once people come to you one time make good first impression and they'll always remember and the next time and they bring in the options on who they want to go to they'll think of you because you have this or you have that you have this you have that so make sure you're giving them reason to come to you all right guys so i feel like i've covered a lot of things if you guys want to see a beginner nail tech must have make sure you comment that down below that's probably gonna end up being a video i do 
too anyways but if y'all want to see it make sure you comment that below if you have any other questions um, make sure you put them in the comment section below because if I get enough I'll do another video I'll do a part two but I just feel like I've rambled and talked enough just remember if this is something you really want to do don't let nobody bring you down keep being consistent that's a really really big tip as well when I was first starting out doing nails I wasn't consistent like if somebody didn't come I really wasn't tripping about it, it would go like months without doing nails like don't do that I really really hope that you understand the things I'm saying and you use them to your advantage we want to see everybody win around here around here I tell you that I bet you that we want to see everybody win. So I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you turn on my post notifications so you get notified every time I post. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And yeah, remember you're always loved, especially by me. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.